Hi, this is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, we will talk about the hyperbolic function. Yeah, I believe some of you might somehow see the hyperbolic function in your calculator and you might not know how to get the value. Example, so today, let's say if we have something like hyperbolic sine, normally we write like sine H, stand for hyperbolic sine. All right, and then we will give an angle for it. So let's say it's um, one, a, a value for it is one. And then if you type this one in your calculator, calculator definitely will tell you some value. So in order to type the hyperbolic function for sine, cos, or tangent, what you need to do is just go to your calculator type option, and then you will see hyperbolic function here, type number one. And then you have six option here. So let's say right now I want to do for hyperbolic sine. So I will type one. So if I insert the one value for hyperbolic sine, so you can see, I will get a value like 1.1752. But actually, how do we get this value? And how do we know actually this value is right or wrong? Then you need to know like um, the, the expression for hyperbolic function. So let's say I call hyperbolic function for sine x here. So the formula is basically is exponent of x minus exponent of negative x divided by 2. So... By understanding this one, then you will know how to get this value right now. So let's say I sub 1 into my x here. This one is exponent power 1 minus exponent of power negative 1 over 2. So I will try to insert 1 into all my x here, see whether I will get the exactly same value or not by using the calculator. I will type fraction first, and then exponent 1, and then minus exponent of negative 1 divided by 2 and then you will realize I will get 1.1752 which is exactly the same with whatever we got just now so therefore I'm very confident to tell you this one is exactly the formula for uh, hyperbolics of sine okay so therefore we have another formula for hyperbolics of for cost as well so therefore you need to know both of these then you should be able to solve the rest of it so let's say the hyperbolic for cos x is basically, it's exactly the same formula here, just the minor change to plus. So exponent of x plus exponent of negative x divided by 2. And some student might ask, sir, we only know about both of these. How do we know about the formula for tangent? Because for hyperbolic for tangent, x is actually same with this. We know tangent is sine over cos, right? So here you can apply the same logics. So it's basically hyperbolic of sine x over hyperbolic of cos x. And then you just insert both of their formula into it and then you simplify. You should be able to get something like exponent of x minus expo exponent of negative x divided by exponent of x plus exponent of negative x. So we basically, you just divide them. But over here, because I do not want to go until too deep for the, this video. So what I want you to understand is like how to solve if you have the hyperbolic function in, the, in your exam. Okay, so I will give you a simple example here. So let's say, let's say we have a question like uh, hyperbolic of sine t, which the angle for it is equals to 1 over 2. Okay, we need to know how to solve this thing. All right, of course, if by using the calculator, you will find out actually calculator can solve it really quick. But in the real world, I mean, in, a, in your exam, you might need to take some time to solve it. But let's see how the calculator can solve first. So if I want to solve this kind of question in the calculator, what I will do is I go to the option, hyperbolic function. I choose the sign here, number one. And then since the calculator um, normally will solve in term of x, so I would assume my t is the x value here. I will type the x here and then close the bracket. And then in order to insert the equal, I will go alpha, calculus, and then I will insert 1 over 2 or 0 0.5. Both are fine. And then over here, you cannot type the equal sign here. You need to go for solve here. So shift solve. And then since this one is one-to-one -one function, so you can just insert any x value you want. So here I just try a 10, enter. And then the calculator tell me, later I solve ready. This is from calculator. 
Okay, so my answer is T is actually equals to 0 0.4812 and so on. All right, this one is from calculator. So you can see the calculator really like solve in few seconds. But what if we do manually? So we already know the formula for a hyperbolic of sine, isn't it? So therefore, what I want to do right now, since the angle is T, then I will just say this is exponent T minus exponent of negative T over 2 equals to 1 over 2. Then what we want to do next is we will multiply 2 for both sides to eliminate the 2 here. Then I will get exponent t minus exponent of negative t equals to 1. And we know exponent of negative t is basically is 1 over exponent of t, isn't it? So in order to continue here, I know this one eventually will give me a quadratic equation. So what I will do is I multiply exponent t for every single one here. So the first one actually give me exponent t squared. And then this one will give me minus 1. Because 1 over exponent t multiply exponent t, I will get 1 only, equals to exponent t. Since I already know this one is quadratic, then I will just rearrange uh, them into the general form of quadratic. Alright, so here, you might not able to see this is a quadratic. But what I can do to help you is maybe I can let x equals to exponent t then you should be able to see this is x squared minus x minus 1 equals to 0. Then we know we can't easily factorize this one. So what we can do is we can use this formula, um, negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. But in order to save time, this calculator can actually straight away apply this formula to solve this kind of quadratic equation. We just need to go to menu. And then we look for equation, enter it, look for polynomial, number 2. And then this is the degree mean the power of uh, x here, which is 2 here. Then we'll just insert the abc, which is 1, which is negative 1, and which is negative 1 again. Alright, then we have two answers here. x is equal to 1 plus square root 5 over 2, which is the positive value. And then I have another value, or x is equal to 1 minus square root 5 over 2, which is the negative value. But why the positive neg value and negative value is important here? Because we are solving about exponent. So if exponent t equals to this one, negative 0 0.61a, okay, in order to solve the exponent, we need to ln both sides. We need to add the ln for both sides. But we know if we ln the negative value, we will actually get a math error here. So therefore, this one is cannot be solved. So I will just reject it. Okay, so therefore, there's only one answer here. So I will sub back my exponent t into the x. So my exponent t equals to uh, this value, 1 plus 5 over 2. So in order to solve the exponent t, we will ln both sides. So ln exponent t equals to ln 1 plus 5 over over 2 or you can use the decimal but just make sure you take as many decimal as possible so i move the t to the front exponent e is actually give us the 1 then we we'll just type this one into the calculator so go to the menu 1 then ln we'll put a fraction 1 plus 5 over 2 enter i will get the 0 0.4812 and you remember just now we actually used the calculator, solve this question and got one answer, isn't it? What is that answer? If we scroll up, you can see that from the calculator, t is 0 0.4812. So you can see if you do manually, there's a loss of step. Even if you want to apply the quadratic formula, you will have more step. Yeah, here we just uh, use the calculator to give straight away give us the answer to save you some time. So eventually we still get the same answer. Right, I hope this short video can help you to understand uh, what is a hyperbolic function and how to solve it manually and how to use the calculator to solve it. I will see you guys in the next video.
Bye bye. If you are interested to get this 570EX calculator, I would strongly recommend you to go to their Shopee official store or Lazada flagship store to get the calculator. Based on two reasons. First is you will always get the free gift from them. Second is we can always assure the calculator we get is the original one. Right, so here I will provide you a little guide on how to shop at their store. You can see I have the Shopee and Lazada. Okay, so if you go to the Shopee store here, what you need to do is you just go to search here. You can search Casio official store or you just type the Casio here. You should be able to see the Casio official store here, which they have about 200 24,000 follower for right now so you click on it so after you click already here actually say something like search in the shop you can just type a calculator or scientific calculator then you are fine yeah I actually searched the scientific calculator before you just type on it right then you should be able to see the calculator so right now 570EX they're actually selling for 75 ringgit and then they will give you a different free gift uh, based on different time but if you ask my recommendation I always ask my student to go to buy the 991 it's basically it's the same model with this one but 991EX actually add a solar here so that I no need to worry about the battery issue but this one is you can see is it, it's actually like 34 ringgit more expensive uh, just depend on your budget if you have the budget always go for the solar one if not i think 570ex is good enough and then you can also choose to go for lazada see which platform actually offer you the better price so if you go to the lazada what you need to do is search over here you can just search casio flagship store or you just type casio is fine i believe you should be able to search them casio flagship store over here so right now it's about 123,000 followers okay so from here you can see here we have a button called search in store so over here you can just type a calculator then you will show the same thing also so you can see for the solar one the price is the same so yeah 109 and but for the 570 ex in the lazada right now is slightly more expensive but this one is not always the case so whenever you want to shop right i always recommend you to compare between uh, shopee and lazada because both of the store are owned by the casio malaysia here so you can see at the shopee right now is 75 they also free a notebook for you and then for the Lazada it's about 87 and though they also free you a uh, notebook and another thing you might need to consider is about the delivery fee right so sometimes you have the free delivery voucher then you can just use to get the cheaper rate and then I will share both Shopee and Lazada link at my description below anyways I hope you enjoy shopping and I will see you guys in my next video bye bye